All right, welcome. I think we're recording. So this is a uh, video I put together to kind of walk you through how to create a sentence outline. Um, I think this is a really valuable skill. Uh, outlining is just critically important to clear, concise, and cogent writing. And it's also really important because it makes things easier for you as the writer when you sit down to write. And it ensures that whatever you write is actually going to be valuable to your final project. Uh, I've been on many projects where people create a lot of content and it actually isn't ultimately used in the final product because it's tangential or it's not tightly linked to the overall objectives of the project. So I think outlining is a great way to ensure what you're writing is going to help drive the overall argument of the report and will also save you time and energy as well. Okay, let me share my screen and we're going to just kind of step through um, uh, an example here together and it's just on this document. So just kind of to echo a few things, as I said um, before you begin this video, please read the Pennock uh, section that I put on Blackboard. And as I said previously, I think that the type of writing we're doing, we're being cogent, right, which means structured and logical and we're trying to be concise, and we're trying to generate, explain complex issues, and then make recommendations. We want the reader to trust us. We want them to trust our writing, and to trust our research, and to trust our thinking. So that when we get to the recommendations, um, they want to take them. Uh, so basically, a sentence outline you know, takes a standard bullet outline that you may be familiar with, and replaces the phrases with full sentences except for a section or subsection title where uh, a phrase is okay. So before you begin writing this exercise or really any assignment, you should be thinking about two key things. What are my objectives in writing this? And secondly, what's the context? What is the goal of this section? Or if I'm writing a memo, what's the goal of this memo vis-a-vis -vis the overall project? What's the goal of this chapter vis-a-vis -vis the overall book? Or even what's the goal of this paragraph vis-a-vis -vis the overall essay or project you're working. In this case, you're working on a report. It's, this could be pretty substantial, 30 to 50 pages, and you are probably outlining one specific section that you are gonna be focusing on for your contribution. So please keep these two questions at the foremost, right? What is the objection of your section and where does my section fit? Um, I know that you know each of the groups will, by the time you seen this have developed an outline for your report, an overall outline that looks something like this, right? It's pretty high level. I'm going to assume for this video that my objective is to write the method section of a report that uses cost-benefit analysis. And you can see right here, I've just written in plain English what the goal of my section is, right? The goal of this section is to explain and justify the utility of cost-benefit analysis. And you have to remember that, you know, your reader, we're assuming your reader is a skeptical reader. So you're going to convince them that the method you've chosen, cost-benefit analysis in this case, is appropriate to the task at hand. Um, the other subsection of this methods chapter should, or methods section, I should say, should explain the method in detail. So let's actually add a little bit here. So we'll explain the method in detail and uh, and the steps included, right? We want to be clear. So, Boardman and all outline the key steps, which, were itch, which are as follows. Monetizing all the social benefits of the ener energy efficiency program we are studying. That's number one, right? Um, the second might be monetizing all the social costs, right? Of the EE program, energy efficiency. We are studying. And then you can go through this kind of um, explaining what you will be writing without doing all the writing. And I think that when you structure things like this, I like the decimal outline, but you can use any way you want in terms of, of uh, keeping track of where you are. Uh, when you ultimately bring this to fruition, it's going to be that much clearer and that much more impactful. And even more importantly, when you and your teammates line all these sections up, 
they're actually going to make sense and drive a through line uh, through the entire group. So thank you, and let me know if you have any questions.